Hi, good morning. Today we are going to the uh, forest uh, known as uh, Gelam Forest at Peris Lalang in Bacho, Kelantan. And it is very unique forest down there. And it is a uh, wetland. And uh, we will see what what we can we can, can learn from there. So I'll take you there. And now we are passing through a road from Kota Baru towards Bacho. And we are going to Bris Lalang. Bris Lalang. Lalang is in Prata. Bris is supposed to be the, the type of soil there. We are going through the bridge across the a river. We call, we call it Pangkalanda to River. And you can see the beautiful of river. This, this is the place where we, we are going. So hope you I'll 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 bring you some some new interesting uh, stories or experience at the at the Glam Forest Malaluka. It's a Malaluka forest. It's just it's just like what you can see a lot in Australia and some other parts of this world. So let's go. We are entering the Gelam Forest now. It is very, very nice place. We have a very good road leading to the forest. And if, if you can see, it is still very early in the morning. And, and it's very homogeneous. This is Gelam Forest. Yeah, I'll bring it closer now. I'm driving towards the forest. So we, we are driving through the Glam forest. Glam is commonly in a wetland in this part of, of the country where it is, uh, is a waterlogged area and you can have this tree. This tree is very predominant in this area. It is almost covered with these trees and no, no other trees grow here except the grasses and some of these uh, wetland species, wetland grasses. So you can see this is this is glam forest. I'll go closer to the tree later when I, I stop the vehicle. It is quite common to see the the the, the signs of burning because once a year during the the summer or during the hot season most of this tree will get burnt but it's but it is it is still can grow again as this is one of the features of the glam forest you can see the the burning signs and later you will grow back because of the the characteristic of the of the of the bark of the of the forest you can see there's a lot of wetland here it's, you see it's beautiful. You can see the wetland around there. Yeah, it's a water. The water is uh, uh, very black, in, blackish in color. It's a black, blackish water. Uh, this, the, the soil is uh, pit. It's a pit soil, you know. It's a pit soil. Uh, we thick. Uh, we thick. Uh, you can see there. There's a black. The water is blackish. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, and you can see, you can see some of this uh, vegetation also around here. This is glum. This is glum. You can have a closer look at the glum leaves. Okay. It is where the what they call the the uh, uh, oil can be extracted from the leaves. Now we are passing through a gl the Glam Forest. This is a medium sized tree where it grew gregariously or, or monoculture. Gregariously, in, in mostly common in, in wetland and wetland, you know. This is a uh, we call this this kind of forest is this kind of swamp is 
uh, this kind of swamp we call it uh, we call it uh, fresh water swamp fresh water swamp and it is normally common uh, uh, in, by the beach by the beach you can have this uh, forest and then later uh, on the other side you will see the, the sandy beaches so the, the water being blocked by the sand at the beach so it create this kind of forest this is the Galan forest it's very nice and beautiful I'll stop by in a while and have a closer look at it. Have a closer look at it. This is the common features of the Galam Forest. You know, uh, it is on a it's on a swamp area. The swamp area. This is the the plant I call we call it Purun. Purun, you know, Purun. It's a Purun, it's a Purun, and it's commonly used to make a, a mate. Uh, and this is the tree, a glum tree. It's beautiful, I you know. And it is quite common phenomena during the hot season, it will get burnt, and it will survive again after the burning. This kind of plants is very common in in this this uh, pit pit swamp forest. See the water is black, black in color. This is uh, what do you call the uh, the pit pit swamp. It's a pit water. It's black, black in color. But but when you look at it, is 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 clear. But because of the the base of the of the canal is with leaves, all this thing with the pit, you know element of pit it become look like black and you know, blackish and it is very acidic it's very acidic and it's very acidic you see how beautiful it is it's so beautiful and with the purunt and then you can see the glam trees and the element of water body and of course the clear sky up there and I guess you are very fortunate today to have this kind of forest around you and I'll have the opportunity to come to this place and to share with you and maybe if you like you can share with your friends uh, this video this is very simple simple explanation that I could give uh, just a layman explanation about glam Melaleuca is a melaleuca. It is uh, white oil, you know. The leaf can be extract and to produce uh, oil, you know, to produce an oil or some the extract. And as you can see, this is very pristine glam forest with the traces of burning all these things. And it's very common in glam forest, as I told you, to have this kind of phenomena. The the bugs of the glam is uh, it has a very high resistance to the forest fire. And after the burning, the phenomena after the burning, you can see the seed is generating, and you have more trees growing at the bottom, at the bottom of the of the forest, at the follow. At the floor of the forest, you guys, you enjoy the scenery and the birds, the sound of the bird, and you 
see it, this beautiful canal here. This beautiful canal here. And as you can see, there is there is a water spider. And I was come to understand that when there is a water spider, when there is a water spider, it indicates that the ecosystem is uh, rather complete. Uh, for this, this kind of places, when you have the water spider and the water, it indicates that the ecosystem is complete. Complete ecosystem. And you see how, how we enjoy the water spider here. Maybe this is your first time seeing the water spider. And this could be a first time to other to some of your friends so you can share with them the water spider okay this is water spider there's a lot more spiders there whatever it is is so beautiful and this make life make life uh, enjoyable with this creation that our God has given us so to take care of this creation and the benefit from it is marvelous we just can't imagine how this tree can grow in the water in this kind of environment with the adaptation of fire fire resistant and the water you can see some aerial roots down there aerial roots this is this is the ability to to survive in water there's some aerial roots uh, it's not it's very fine aerial roots you can see the aerial roots there you know the brownish color there that is an aerial roots so guys you enjoy this one and i'll bring you inner of the forest after this I'm trying to share with you some of this beautifully landscape derived from the uh, Glam Forest. Uh, you see the water body, the water element, and then the water plant, and together with this, uh, the Melaleuca tree, the Glam trees, and it makes very perfect perfect uh, arrangement of a natural natural landscape you know it's very perfect it's very perfect I bring it you down you can have a look at this I bring it down and you can have a look on this this is beautiful you can see between water the water flood uh, Purun and the glum and of course this is the glum bark is flaky it's like paper you know it's flaky like a paper you can see this this is just like a paper it's very flaky like a paper yeah and when it get burnt only the uh, the outer portion of it get burnt and it will s protect the inner inner bark of course, there's some other creatures living in it. This is an ant living under the neat of the of the bark. You can see it's very flaky. It's very flaky. You can hear the sound. It's very flaky. It's very flaky. It's very flaky. I show you again, and there's a lot of ants underneath it. It's very flaky. This is glum, the glum tree, you know, and of course, maybe you would, if you have this opportunity to share with me, you can share with your friends, and this is about 50 kilometers from the town of Kotobaru, it's about 50 kilometers from the town of Kotobaru, and the road leading to this place is very good. The road leading to this place is very good, accessible to any any vehicle. 
I'm walking along the path of the Gelam Forest. Uh, and of course you can hear the birds. Oh here, yeah. here you go. Here you go. We managed to to get the flower of the glum. You know, we, I told you it is very, very, what do you call? Ah, this is the flower, like a bottle brush. You know, uh, if they use this to rare bees, uh, because it's just got the pollen, and it's good for it's good for bee rearing. If they want to get some income from this, they can can set up the bee beehive. They can set up the beehive in order to 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 capture the bees, and of course to get the honey from it. Uh, uh, the glum honey, the glum honey, or the malaluka honey, malaluka kajaput, if I'm not mistaken. It used to be called Malaluka Lodendron before, but now I suppose it is called Malaluka Kajaputi, Kajaput, yeah, Malaluka Kajaput. So you, again, you see the element of water, the glam trees, and of course the the grass, which we call it Puron, and some of the underground trees, plants and, and so on. Hi, I'm in this uh, forest. We call it the glum tree forest. And glam forest, or scientifically is known as Malaluka kajaput, Malaluka kajaput, or white oil tree, and commonly grown, grown in uh, wetland. Wetland, you can see this is a peat wetland, and it is a combination with some other grasses, and this one we call it uh, puron. Uh, a water plant. This is a water plant, and you can see it is. It is just by the, by the canal, or river, and in water there is a lot of, uh, so-called, water spiders. So this is, the the glam the glam forest. Some of the beautiful landscape in this kind of wetland, and uh, we got to keep the wetland in order to sustain the the ecosystem. And uh, once you lose the wetland, you lose your life because wetland is very important in order to keep some water before they flow to the sea. This kind of swamp is common by the beach. You know, before you reach the beach, there, there is, normally there's a, a water body which which retain the water from the inland before it goes to the river, it goes to the, to the sea. So, so this is very important features to be kept intact in order to to balance the ecosystem, to have the balanced ecosystem. If we let it go fast to the beach or to the sea, then you will get dry land and it become very acidic later or some kind of chemical reaction will take place and certain vegetation will, will deprive from it. I'm very glad to have you with this one today and if you if you uh, you don't hesitate to share, comment, uh, and subscribe. See, you can see the you can hear the birds, the sound of the bird from the glum tree. 
so this is beautiful and you have some very cute some cute water lilies there yeah some cute water lilies yeah that is a cute water lily here there's some cute water lily down there so beautiful beautiful isn't it it's beautiful it's beautiful and so do not hesitate to share video with your friends thank you for watching